Welcome back to X4 Foundation. I am Magican and this is the Cradle of Humanity DLC. And last time, progress was finally made with the missions we were going to get. Yeah, you can see we are only having these two. Terran pets here are gonna wait a bit. And the grand experiment is the one we are going for. The problem now, or oh, problem, problem, it's not a problem, it's just. Um, what we lack, we lack a little bit of Nividium. That's the only thing. And we were actually waiting for the ship to come in with the resources. Uh, and I have to figure out where it is now. Because last time... I waited on it. Let's see what this is. So no, that's not it. Nividium. There we go. Let's see. It got 600 and 360. It still lag a lot. Maybe I should call it something else. Nvidia Miner. Let's just call it that, then I know where it is. Okay, I have a request for how you can build a station. I'm looking into it now because you can just wait a little bit with this. Um, how we build a station that is sustainable. Um, if this has been before the 4.0, I would say, oh, this way. But as you can see, we have so many things not going right. Especially with the ore here. I've just put in a lot of other ships to uh, to get ore in. Maybe the issue here is not the ore or the amount we're getting in, but the way they have to wait on the resource getting. And I think I will say that is the problem. So... We are working on it. And also the configuration here, if you can see. This is what we are building right now. A lot of things still going on. Whole parts, whole parts. And as long as it's building that and not building the split three dog EP here, so we can have six more ships coming in, then it's going to be a little bit of an issue. And but I will still try to explain how you build a station. You need, first of all, you're gonna need, the first you're gonna build at anything, you need to build uh, something to hold the energy cells. So if you start with a container, but also remember to use dockings. So just one small docking with three in, that's fine. I could just show you a little bit. We we are waiting anyway on that ship to bring in the resources. So if I want to build... A new station. And the problem is we have stations right here. We have stations here, even here. We do not have stations up here, but it's also pretty tough area. You can see there's so many things going on here. And I'm not looking forward to just... Oh, permit. They're in trouble. That's going to all loose. The, the station here, the permits are going to lose this. And this is Argon Prime, and we have one in Second Con Flash. So it will not be that bad, good to build it up here either. There's too many conflicts right here. And we have one 
not in the matrix, but we have one right here. Here, we do. You can see we've got a big station there, working on it. So if we should build one station, that will actually... This one will be one, two. Then it has to be this one, three and four. But that will be really close also. It has to be here. Or maybe even here. And then we can move in. But it's difficult. And this is not a good place. We got the earth right here. But we are building a station here. But we do have a jump gate right there. But this is the one going to earth. So maybe what we should do is go in here, find a ship that is fast and maneuverable. One of these, ask that one. Explore this area. Hopefully it will go through. I was not thinking it will be up here at all. This one. I did see there was a jump gate, but... I rather want it here, so we can use all of this to build. And we're also building one down here. But if you have to build something... This will not be a bad place, but we need minerals. Right here is a bad place also. There's so many things going on. See that. One. Yeah, there's nothing here we can build. You have to have minerals also in the places, both gas and so you can get the ships. This one is fine, but it's only this area having the minerals. And then, of course, it can fly over there. So if we start just building a small one here, of course you have to go in, manage plots, family newt, that's here. Build a pretty big one, not the minus there. This is max what we can create. So if you want to really build something, you should create one of these. Create the plot, 
bring it in. Um, I would like to bring it in where it makes mostly sense. Right among there. Then you can move it to see the price on it. But I want it to close to this, but I also want to close to this over here. So we could get the resources in. Let's remove this so we can see it a bit clearly. This is actually a pretty good place to bring them in. But it's going to be tough because of all this... Uh, problematic then we have to buy the license so we do not have to uh, have reputation problems with ZY8 then we continue you do not have to be in it and there we go then you can load a plan I have a lot of plans magic and small stations palace foundations I have a lot of things going on I can also build a lot of other things, but actually, I wanted to show you from the scratch. So I'll just say cancel mode, yes, and then we're in scratch. Okay, let's build the standard setup. I'm not even sure I have it. Energy hub. This is actually a big one, as I already built. You can see I'm starting with a T dock and then vertical and then T dock and then luxury docks. But this is a big one so I'll just it will you will need a lot of things to get this going. So I will just try to show you. I have shown you in uh, a lot of times before because I have to build this from scratch. Everything is recorded. But maybe it would be a good idea just to start building. You need a dock. And this one, the four dock, I've never used that before. But it also goes out in different ways. And to save space, it's probably best just to... Build that. You can also bring it all the way down here, so we can start from the bottom and up. But you can also just continue doing it, and you can see here you only you are not using anything else that outside of the box, and that's one of the things I saw with this. If we are taking this one. And you say, look at that, it will use a lot of other stuff. And if you're going into that, that will be a, a big mistake. But this one, that's a split. Oh, what? That was not the idea. Not discard at all. Let's see if we have the, still the, the setup up here. It was only discarding that one. Yeah, plan built. You go in. We need to use the Argon. There we go. I like it to be on the millimeter. There we go. There. So that's fine in the middle. You can always put it in top and bottom. And after that, you would also like some of the luxury docks and standard docks. 
And if you want to build a good one, you can also build eight standard here, like this one. That's eight instead of six. And you do not have to dock inside, you can dock on top. Three, six, let's just... I have not bought any of the other ones, so I think... Let's get a little closer here. Let's just build one. And two. And three. That's fine. So the first thing you're building at all is a free dock. It's going to cost a little bit. And then the small ones. So all the ships will be able to dock on the station. Of course, that's normally... And then I would build a large container like this on both sides. You can also do it differently. But it should work on both here. And it should also be available to take another of these you just have to be not touching the other one so the ships will be able to go in so you can just build a lot of them if you want them but in the beginning it's not needed at all So that's a new design. And after you build the first container, not two, three, four, and five, or six, or anything like that. Because you just need one. I learned that the hard way. Have to wait on the resources. Then you build energy cells. And here it comes to get the right dimension on your energy cells, because you need to use them right you can see here there's this area you can build in so normally I'll just do this and then get one of these in so it will not hit the top on this So now you already got that going. And remember to confirm so it's done. It, it can be ready for the resources. Let's assign a builder already. Okay, what was that? Research in progress, or what? No, it's not that. Where's the lock? Missions? Okay, you successfully rescued, yeah, but that's not. Okay, I do not know what that mission was. Unfortunately, I did not see it. Okay, let's follow that ship there to see. Is there information? Is 
still mine Iridium, but it only got one more. Maybe it did not get any. That's ice. More ice. Okay, but well, it's going to take a longer time for that. Let's continue with the station. Plant build again. And as you can see, now it's starting to build. And then we will start to get in with the energy cells right away. Great. Let's just continue with the next module. That will be, of course, and the why I say of course is because we need to have storage enough to bring in the different uh, not that one there we go different liquids I'm never using the small ones or only for station missions they want us in the beginning to build but solid So you can build on the different sides here. And I like, if I build a solid, I like it to turn around. It has to be beautiful also. So you have it on different side. Here. But you need the third one also. So I'm normally saying one container, one solid. Two container, one liquid. Third container, a solid. So you have like half the solid and half the liquid compared to the containers because they have mostly these areas. But when you do this, also build up with different modules of... And I did not do this in the beginning. But remember to uh, fan them out the right way. So I will use plasma for the big guns. We need that too. And of course, Talati Shield 2, that's the best one. And the next, I will also use another Plasma. There we go. And also Shield. And the next again, Beams are good. They are precise, they're hitting the targets. Next again. Beams. And then you can use different kinds here. Bolts or flak, but also missiles. And I like the dump fire missiles and the tracker missiles. And the Argon is the best I've seen. And then the dump fire. There we go. And again here, you can build a little bit on the top. So I want to build flak. And the last one should be bolts. Bolts is also good. Hammer the hole there. So now everything is filled up. You confirm it. And then you do the same with this with this one. Oh. Was it that one I used? No, everything. What is going on here? That's solid storage. There we go. Okay, both of them have this. I have no idea why. Copy module. Build that, and then you should be able to see it's the same with all of these. So you have to co copy them. 
But I will delete this one now. Yes. Ah, come on. That was not... Yeah. Have the container here. So we have to do it all over again because I click delete instead of upgrading. That's one of the things I'm doing sometimes. Remember to save every time you make a one you are satisfied with. So plasma and then this. Number three. Let's take beam. And another beam. Maybe I should do it a little bit differently. And say beam there instead. And here. Bolts. And there flag. So we have here dump fire missile or tracker missile, doesn't matter. This one. That's dump fire this time. And then we can have beams. So you have beams there and there. And plasma there and there, so they do not if there's something they cannot hit. Then these others can hit. Confirm that. Remember to confirm module changes. Yes. So now we got that one. Then we can take the solid as I said before. Bring that in. Turn it around. Bring it in. Edit this. And now we can change it a little bit. So we have the beam first and then the plasma it's important that they do not stop each other from shooting and here we can have the bolt and then we start with dump fire and not tracking yes And then here. A bolt. And instead of flak this time, just using extra bolt. Oh, we could use the flak also here. And then again, plasma on the inside. And I know this is probably tedious, but when you have to do this, you have to do it right um, and beam outside. Because you make a, a template of it. And then we have to have the liquid large. And this is the same, you just change a little bit. So you actually put the missiles are in front. On both sides. That was that one. Don't fire here. You got the tracking. Then a bolt. And a flak. A B. 
beam. And a plasma. Another beam. And another plasma. Plasma is important to have too. Then we go, and there we go. So now we can just copy them and say copy module and put them over there. Right now we move. So now we have storage for each, but this is built first after the storage container there. And that's fine. And now we can start building a little bit extra on these. We can also go upwards. We can build on these sides. We can build a little bit more energy. And we can bring them in from the bottom. And I would like to build a little bit more energy already. You can still see there's actually possibility to build a little bit more. Let's just do that there. And we can also build on cross here. Downside. And let's just build the next in the module size. And that has to be silicon. Where is that silicon? There we go, silicon. But we have to be careful. To bring it right, because we do not have, want to have anything on these that they cannot land on. So if we build a lot of things on top right here, then you have to go in and land difficultly. That will not be that fun. So everything we have to build, we build downwards. Or on, in the end here, but I would like to build a little bit extra. There we go. That one can be built right there on this. So we can just build on the long side there if we want to. But remember, when you have one of these, you also build more protection. Plasma, double. Shield, next. I'm not going to build anything with missiles on this one because it's too little. And a bolt. Another beam. And that is going to cost resources, of course, a lot of resources. Confirm. And then we copy this. But let's just put that away first and let's get one of these. There we go. We built four here. Confirm that. And then you can see it. It's going on the way here. And 
and you need all of these resources. You have to follow the, the lines here, what you need. I actually like this one, uh, the way it's built. Another one there. And then just accept this. Let them come in with the resources so they can start building. And I really think this is the right way to build it. I've done a lot of building with the other ones and they have not been starting out the best way. But this is going to take a little while to build, I'm sure of it. So um, it's not going to be that easy. It's not going to be one little recording. I will just continue a little bit later on when I've seen this. Because you have to have so much resource. I can try to show you, if you want a little bit faster information about this, what you have to build for uh, building a shipyard. Let's see if we can find the... Still have this six. It seems like it cannot get resources. What? We do have 4,397? I'm a little bit insecure here what's going on. If we have that much, why then showing us we do only have 260? No, this is what we want. Not what we have. Okay, that's understandable. Let's just bring that in first. I think that's a really weird assumption that we have this. This is just um, a number. Hmm, good question. And this will not come in before it's mined. It's, it's done mining. It is on mining this still, so let's hope it will find it. OK, 
Okay, let's continue with the station. Plant build again. And now we're gonna get silicon production. And then we need to build engine parts. But if I have to show you a little bit quicker, Let's continue here. Then let's take one of the plants I've used. This one. And you can see I've just built a lot of things here. First of all, you can see everything here of the re different resources. Ice, helium, indium cells, silicon, methane, hydrogen, ore. Not navidium. That was not needed at all here. And then you can see what you need. You need water. Superfluent coolant, silicon waffles, graphene, antimatter, re refined metals. That's the groundwork you have to build. Because if you're building like this, then they will fill up and then go to the next. And then water, of course, water will give out and you will have... You need mass nails. Why do you need mass nails? Because you want to build... Soya husk, food for medical supplies and non-stop oil. A lot of things you want to build for for building it faster with men. You can build uh, more men so it can help you. You can also drop that. You can drop everything. If you do not want over the standard percentage, 100%, then you can drop a lot of things. Um, the water is still needed. I will still build, figure out water, super fluid cool, but everything like maya snails, soya beans, meat, spices, that can be without. I will actually go for antimatter, silicon, graphene, silicon waffle, silicon waffle first, then super fluid cooling, graphene, and then refined metals. Then you go down, how, down here, you can see whole parts. It's really, really important. Why build whole parts? Because then you can get the station to build the, the resources. The free resource that's really important is energy cells, whole parts, and claytronics. Then you can build every module on the station. But then you need resources to continue, like um, quantum tubes. You need that to build on the claytronics. You can see here we have the claytronics, really important to build that. So I will just go back and then say continue again. Yeah, I do not have anything like this, this is the only thing I really got built on this model. We're not creating this plot. There we go. So let's take one of those that has not been built that far off yet down here. Even still, this is what we had before. You can see it's starting to build supplies in. Water, silicon is coming in, different resources coming in. Engine parts are starting to build fully up. So always start with the lowest 
and then continue upwards. Let's see if we can go to one of those. I have built a little bit more, uh, mostly, a lot more here in second contact that I really worked on. You can see the workforce. That's why I wanted to have a lot of workforce there. Fill whole habitat, yeah. It's doing that anyway and you can see I'm still not getting the ship module on but it's just a matter of time because if I want to have the ship module you can actually build it let's see where it is You have the small one here. No, we should not do this. Not now, anyway. Let's go back to this so you can see a little bit closer. So I focused on building you can see that's still lacking a lot of these drones because we need smart chips, missile components. Okay, station estimate. But if you have the right resources to build the ships, then you can actually do that. And it looks like we do have that right amount of resources now to build it let's go to the mega station up here this is the only one where we can build I'm not thinking of building more ships but let's see here we got the ice water The ore is pretty low. And you can see here, before we had this, here at Claytronic, then there's the research, but Claytronic is just built for nothing else than producing the different modules. Okay, you can see what they need here. Large ship needs missile components, of course. They need drone components. They need web components, and they need turret components, and the rest is the same. You need the different kind of stuff, but right now we have stopped the production so we can fill up the resources. And you can see you need the field cars to build the station. And also to build new stations, you need the field cars, you need the different kind for missiles. Uh, the plasma, you need drone components, and let's go up here so you can see a little bit more. Sunrise flowers, everything like this, all of these, chilled meat, everything, sunrise flowers, spices, weed, you can, you can drop that. All of this, you can drop it. That's only for the workforce. Sire husk, non art, everything like that in the top line here. All of this. And you can see the water is actually only needed for that. So you can also drop the water. I actually thought the water was needed for a little bit else. Maybe it was in the beginning, but it does not look like it. So the ice is not even an issue. You'll have ships that is not going to get ice if it's not needed. So all of that can be stopped. But I like to have the workforce up and running. Have so much men. Also, if you have to have men on your ships, it's a good thing to have that. So, um, then you need all of these missile components, antimatter, drone, mostly to build up and also to supply your ships with it. That's important, or the enemy ships are what you now have here. And then advanced capacitive is important. Hull parts, of course. Everything is needed with hull parts to build the ships to have hull. Blast conductors, scanning arrays, microchips, engine parts, and smart chips 
microchips is actually built for all a lot of these things here. And advanced electronics. And advanced electronics, you also need that. You do not need claytronics. If you do not need them, you do not have to. But I would like to build them anyway. They are costing a lot. You can sell them. But most of all, you can use them to build new stations. That's why I have them. But if you want to have a cut-down version of a ship, ship maintenance bay and ship small shipyard, then uh, ship fabrication bay, then cut that off. Also, electronics, and then just have this line here and these, and then you're done. And you can make your station. This is probably the best way to explain it. But I think to build the station there, to have that this uh, loading in, you will, I will probably have it both in new game and everything else. So I think I will continue building that uh, up there. Let's see if we can find that ship again. I think we can, but... That is it's still on the same. Okay, let's just do something else here. Let's deliver first. And then you can maybe find something else to to mine because I cannot see it anywhere. Let's see how long it will take for it to get in in dark. And let's also do something else here. Let's look at the plant build. Okay, they're using these cross modules. Then there's two, four, six whole parts. Eight, ten, twelve whole parts. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen whole parts. Twenty whole parts. And then it's six graphene. One refined. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine refined. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen refined. Yeah. And then five more, that's twenty. And then we have plasma conductors, advanced electronics. And then first we have this. Okay, that's gonna take a while to get this done. I'm curious about the resources. I set a lot of ships out to him to get resources. You can see we do not have enough at all. I hope it's not. I hope it's a buck. Okay, let's just do this. I will say um, right now we just have to get these resources in. This has been about building stations and how to build them. And I will, of course, build, continue building that up there. But that was just a quick overview of this. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more on the video. That's the mission we have to wait for.